and we are back to keep working on the Master Sword. It is now about 6.53 in the morning, and it is 75 degrees and humid, so it's already kind of sweaty. Um, well, as I just say, it's early in the morning and we're going to get an early start, so we'll run the intro now to waken things up a bit. I'll move Betty, my beloved pickup truck, out of the shop. Who knows by the time he, uh, Blake might be back and move his mower by then. And then we'll get to the forge list, so here we go. We will cue the intro now. Forge. We got the mention, we have this huge fan now to blow heat and smoke out of the shop. So yeah, we need to help him put that up and then we'll light the forge. Okay, so now we have the fire list. He's going to make sure that doesn't go out. I need to go feed our neighbor's cattle and their dogs. So, uh, we'll get to it after that. And I'm back. The cattle are fed, and the sword is in the fire. So, once it's up to heat, we'll get to work on the tip. And the sword is hot. Here we go. First heat of the day. Yeah, and there we go, first 
saying accidents happened. Ain't this a pretty morning? We are particularly perceptive. You may have noticed that we're standing on this big stack of wood right here when we're working. Pretty much all it is is a couple of uh, like three by fours or something and a two by four because to be frank, Sir Atwood is mounted a bit high and like over my waist, so. By standing up on these, we can get a better work height for until we uh, get the stump shaved down to size a bit better. So yeah. Go a couple of minutes ago, actually. We noticed that. Compare that to that color. So, the news said there was a chance of rain. I think that's it. But very lucky, we will get some nice rainstorm today. I traced the tip out and cut it out a bit chunky so we have extra material for the heat treat. Trace it onto there and now we shall start grinding.
Draft didn't anneal properly, so uh, let me anneal, let me anneal this real quick. While I wait for the piece to finish annealing, I'm going to go for a joyride in one of my golf carts. A couple reasons for this. Reason number one, as I said at the beginning. Early on in part one of, of this build series, my neighbor's dog, one of them, or they're both afraid of storms, but one of them does like to get out. So I need to see if she has gone out again. Then I'm going to go look at the creek and see how that's looking. Yep, she's still in. I may do some of the uh, final reveal filming down there. Anyways, on now to the creek. She did actually get out. Come on, Lucy. Lucy, let's go home. Come on, girl. <sighs> Dogs, you know. <sighs> They're fun, though. There you go. The dogs are in their beds. Barely see through my glasses now because of the AC fogging them up before I got out of the house. <sighs> Hair in my mouth. All right, now it's to the creek. I'll pick you guys up once we're there. Here we are. A couple minutes later, down the road to the creek, and it's getting low. Well, if it rains nicely, it should fill up a bit. Quite dark over there. Okay, I think it's annealed. I remarked it. And it's raining! Yeah! Whoa. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if we can get cut it on the bandsaw. Uh, where will I put the camera? Let's put the camera over here, maybe? No. Ah, let's shut the camera off for a bit. Looky there. It's got it's got more meat on it than it actually needs. So that means that we can grind all the decarb off and whatnot after heat treat. So that's pretty much done. So now we will flip it around and start forging the tang in. Huzzah! Go stick in the fire. Move the small anvil over and we'll start sledgehammering this. We'll get to that then. It's about time for the first seat on the tang. <clears throat> that fire is like looking into the sun right now, so hot. That hits why you don't get overzealous in your stoking of the fire. Now we gotta scoop that out so we can fix the grate. Don't be like us sometimes, kids. Bad. 
turn off. Okay, so since we had to shut the forge off, we decided to run inside and get some uh, some lunch. So we're done with that now, so we're going to light the forge back up and uh, get back to work. We're finally back up and running. It only took us 30 minutes to relight the bloody forge, but it's going again, so uh, yeah, we'll get to work soon. Now, I have to go to the neighbor's dogs after the storm is gone. I don't, I don't want them inside all day, so uh, we'll just take a quick break. But the Go to the rat one really quick. Sir rat one, yay! Okay, so we just put the last of this batch of coal in. We have another bag of it over there, another 50 pounds, but I don't really want to break into that today, so we'll work until the forge the cat heat the steel anymore, and once that happens, then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. So, we should be able to get a couple more heats in on this and uh, get that tank a bit more broken down. We should be able to get at least one more heat out of this. Okay, the floor doesn't have enough oomph anymore to heat metal well, so we're gonna take this one last heat and call it a day. Day two, done. All right, then, so now it's gonna shut down, so like turn the forge off, fan off. We're gonna do put yeah this. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's turning. This goes back over here. I turn you around real quick. This go this way.
Dzień. a good solid six hour work day. We were up at six, the forge was lit by like kind of 6.50ish, the first strike ones were done at 7.30 exactly, and we wrapped up pretty much 1.30 exactly, so it's starting to look like a real sword. Um, oh yeah, I, I, I didn't mention it earlier, this is not Tuesday, the, I, the first part one, the first work and all was done on Monday. It is now Friday, about you know, it's the end of the, that week that I started it, so yeah, this is a really good day of work. We got a lot of progress done on it, and I can't wait to do it, and I can't wait to do some more. So, uh, I suppose that's really all that there is to it. So, until next time.